You know, we're getting close now to 2023. So of course the season is here. We're going to see, oh, we're already starting to see it. And you're going to see a lot, all the online movie pundits, including us next week, are going to be putting together their most anticipated films of 2023 list. Well, one of the major hubs for movie fans, Fandango, the place where most Americans go to get their movie tickets, has just done a survey amongst their viewership and their readers as to what are the indeed most anticipated movies of 2023, according to their readers. And the results in some places are a little predictable, but in other places are actually kind of surprising to me. So let's go over to the classroom here and take a look at the results of what they had as their most anticipated. Okay, we're going to start at number 10. Number 10 is actually the Super Mario Brothers movie, which I'm not, look, I'm getting kind of excited to see this. I honestly didn't think a lot of other people were going to be excited to see it, but as of right now, it is the number 10 most anticipated according to this thing. Uh, at number nine, Creed 3 is, according to this list, the number nine most anticipated movie. Of course, the first two Creed movies did not make tons of money, but they were good. They were good movies. This, list, John. this is Ray's list. What's that? This, this is your list. The Fandango slash Ray Aura list. All right. At number eight, maybe let's see if it continues. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, oh. according to the list, <laughs> is the eighth most anticipated film. We were just talking about that a lot yesterday, and we're going to be talking more about it in the days to come. Coming in at number six, speaking seven, of seven, the... Right? What's that? Oh, seven. sorry. Coming in at number seven. Thank you. Oh, wait. I did that wrong then. I'm sorry. I did this wrong. Number eight was not Mission Impossible. Uh, Mission Impossible was actually number nine. The real number eight was, or is number seven, the real number eight is Hunger Games. Oh, nice. Uh, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which tells me that, hey, you know what? A lot of us underestimate just how many fans and people loved Hunger Games and are indeed excited about it because apparently they're more excited for it than Creed 3 or Super Mario Brothers, but still, there you go. So number seven is Mission Impossible. Uh, or, or yes, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. That's there. Okay, now we get into number six. At number six, speaking of conversations we were just having, we've got Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is the number six most anticipated movie of the year. Yeah. That, of course, is coming out on Christmas Day in 2023. That takes up the number six spot. Okay. At number five, as I just try to copy and paste this, I'm having a hard time here. At number five, I just watched the trailer for the first time. I just watched the trailer on the big screen. Seen the trailer, right? I've never saw it on the big screen. Indiana Jones... And the Dial of Destiny, number five. By the way, the theater I was in watching Avatar yesterday, audience went nuts when the Indiana Jones trailer played. Yeah. They went absolutely crazy. All right. Now we're in the top five here, and we go into number four, and I love this. John Wick, chapter four. Awesome. It's, you know, it's so funny seeing, you know, the first movie this franchise made a couple hundred million dollars. For it now to be like, listed in the most anticipated over films like Indiana Jones, Aquaman, Mission Impossible, Creed, Mario Brothers. That's pretty damn cool. So John Wick, Chapter 4, is our number four most anticipated movie of the year. Okay, now into the top three. I think we have a good sense of what's in there, but what order? Well, at number three, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Uh, according to the Fandango survey, where movie, tickets, movie ticket buyers go, that is their number three most anticipated film of the year. At number two, my God, I love this. I love this. I'm so happy to see this. Uh, oop, that's not the... Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Number two, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Wow. At number two, I am Jeez. so thrilled about that, that people understand the goodness that is the Spider-Verse, this animated world that I crapped on for well over a year before the movie came out. And then I saw it and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> it was so good. I'm so happy. Was to it, oh my God, or oh, oh my God. God. No, it was, oh <laughs> my God. It, oh, I'm so happy to see that all the way up at number two. And then according to the Fandango ticket buyers list, hmm? The most anticipated movie of 2023 is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Wow. So, again, now remember, this is not our list. This is the list accumulated by Fandango, the place where America goes to buy their movie tickets and their readers. So, again, number 10, we got Super Mario Brothers. At number 9, Creed 3. At number 8, Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I'm surprised to see it on the list, but I think we underestimate how many fans that thing has. 
Uh, at number seven, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. At number six, Aquaman and the Last Kingdom. At number five, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. At number four, John Wick, Chapter 4. At number three, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. At number two, Spider-Man Across Spiders. <laughs> I'm still so tickled. That's so high up. And number one, it's uh, James Gunn's world. We're living in it. It's Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. So... Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Manscaped. This holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to our friends over at Manscaped. Everyone loves turkey and stuffing, but you'll be looking like dessert with the help of Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming have blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner topic. Tell your in-laws about your new cutting-edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Trim up your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA for free shipping and 20% off. And this year I am so thankful for Manscaped because like most of you guys, I used to use Neanderthalic Dark Age methods to trim my balls. Not anymore thanks to Manscaped. It's time for all of us to give thanks to Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 or as I like to call it, the perfect package for your package. Inside, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, Crop Preserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver toner, Performance Boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies. The heart of the package, their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the promo code CAMPIA. Be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. Rob, let's go over to you first here. I mean, for me, uh, with seeing um, uh, Hunger Games on this list, is surprising to me. I knew it would still have some people to get excited about, but at number eight, did not see that coming. Really excited to see Creed on there. Again, neither, neither of the first two movies made a whole ton of money, so, but I really like those films to see it on that list. I think seeing Spider-Verse at number two is a very pleasant surprise to me. Guardians of the Galaxy would be number one is a bit of a surprise. I don't know. You saw this list. What's standing out to you? And is there anything missing, obviously missing for you? I don't know if I buy this list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this list is, is, first of all, the Hunger Games prequel, we've not seen a trailer for it. Like, I mean, like They put out some uh, like one or teasers. two little teasers. Yeah, they like little teasers, but I still don't see people... I mean, the book certainly was the runaway bestseller that the Hunger Games books were. I, you know, I think that they, I, I think this might be, I don't know. To me, I think Indiana Jones should be higher up on this list than it is. Although we've seen these trailers, these trailers, like all three of these trailers, one, two, and three, these are trailers that are in the theaters now that people are seeing. So it's on the, mm -hmm. it, it's on the, it's on people's minds. I'd be curious to see the other ones, like, again, Creed has a trailer out. Uh, Mission Impossible has a trailer out. Indiana Jones has a trailer out. Uh, Mario Brothers has a trailer out. Which, by the way, in the theater, it's even more impressive than watching it online. I was. They played it in front of Avatar. Right? Too. That and it, looked it, great. It does. You look at you look at like I I have no real uh, affection. I love Mario, but I don't. It's not in 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 my. But I watched that trailer on the big screen. I'm like, oh, I'll go see that. You know. So I do think there's there's. Uh, all of these movies, I believe, should be on this list. I just don't know about their rankings. It lost me at no Dune. There's no. Yeah. Oh yeah. It lost me at no Dune. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's it. That's the most. What if a lot of people even remember that that's coming out this year? They well, don't. Yeah, that's, and that's that's and that maybe because of the, what Rob just said with the trailer, which is I think he's right uh, on the money with. But like, I also think it's a matter of when you're voting on it, when yes. you're buying tickets, and Rob's a hundred percent right. You see these trailers, ones that are in the zeitgeist, the ones that people, are, the ones that people are talking about. I think that these all are highly anticipated, but I think there's a lot of movies in out, out there that are coming out that, as you said, a lot, maybe people don't even realize. Dune was a for what Dune did in the time that it did, in, and also being able to pull the box office did while it was still HBO Max the same day, yeah, and still pulled box office and was able to. It get, won the most Academy Awards of any film. Absolutely, that year. It did. and more and more it, people have been seeing it on yeah, cable. On so it's once, fantastic. That movie is so good, so and, good, and I cannot wait for the second one. That is Indiana Jones and Dune are probably like in, in for me in my one and two, um, and it has nothing to do with like a Marvel fatigue or anything like that too. But like I, I, I get to this point we're spoiled that we always know we got the Marvel movies coming out, and I'm excited to see them. And I, I think maybe because I was let down so much by Doctor Strange and Thor that I'm like, okay, you know, you, you're hit and miss right now. 
maybe they get back together. I am looking forward to those movies, but for me, it's Dune, it's um, and it's Indiana Jones. Those are the two that I'm and John Wick. Those are the, those. Yeah, are, yeah. John Wick, huge. I, when you look at this list too, this is very the reason I can. After I was a little bit surprised by the look, I thought, okay, well, this is a lot of the general movie going on. So this isn't the hardcore people right. who watch the Christian Harloff show or the John Campy show, hardcore, you know, movie fans. This is the the people who make up 95% of the audience, right. the general audience. Go to Fandango. These are some very populous titles, you know, Mario Brothers, Hunger Games, Indiana Jones. Although I can understand Indiana Jones being a little bit lower on this list because it's been a long time, right. and the last one was Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yes, yeah, you got to get new. You, you, this is going to be where the generations are going to start catching up on the movies, right? They're going to are they on, even on Disney Plus yet? The Indiana Jones movies. I don't I know. know. I know they question. were on Netflix for a bit. I don't know if they're. I don't know if that deal expired. But um, I thought I, they were on Paramount Plus for a bit. I could be. Yeah, wrong I think about you're probably that. right. But I think that uh, what's going to happen in what should happen if parent because a lot of parents are going to be going to see this movie. Oh yeah, a lot of parents. So what I know I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to take my 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 11 year old. I'm going to make sure that she watches all the Indiana Jones before I take her to see the new one. And I think that will happen. And whether or not you know the new generation catches I, on, we'll see. I got a question for both of you. Opening of Indiana Jones. Mountain, or are we going to see a Disney castle? castle? Don't steal my idea. I yeah. told you that idea. No, I mean, was it was that you who came up with that? Yes. I remember somebody brought up on the show the other I'm day. I'm just kidding, Rob. You can steal it. But I think no, I was. Right. I was just asking. Yeah, it, yeah. it's not going to be the obviously it's not going to be the Paramount Mountain, but it's some kind of German castle. Yeah, or, probably because there is that castle we've seen in the trailer. The, well, he's going in to look at the tapestries. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that'll probably be the flashback of when it, when it starts with him in the, in the castle. I think 100. percent Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this list accumulated by the people who go to the Fandango website? They're calling Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. By the way, don't forget, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special just came out, which was ludicrously good, and that might have had something to do with the anticipation level. But Guardians 3 right now, listed as the most anticipated film of the year by general moviegoers. What do you guys think? Of course, we're going to do our list next week. Uh, whatever your thoughts are on this list, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.